Hello. Hi. Um, I am so sorry about earlier. That was my brother's fault. It was not mine. Um, yeah. So I welcome, I welcome the alternate. I welcome our new recruit. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm one of your coaches. I'll be looking forward to meeting you next week. Wow. Okay. So if everything had gone smoothly today, I would have gone over this PowerPoint. So um, first, the cell cycle. There's three parts of the cell cycle, interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis. And interphase consists of cell growth, the G1 phase, DNA replication, the S phase, and preparation for mitosis, the G2 phase. So DNA, replic DNA replication is not part of DNA synthesis, but it is very important because this is where the DNA is duplicated. So first, the enzyme helicase unwinds the DNA into two strands and new DNA complementary to both strands are added through the DNA polymerase. And complementary basically means that the nitrogen bases on the DNA match up with the bases that are formed by the DNA polymerase. So they kind of fit together like a puzzle. And then the DNA rezips and two identical double-stranded DNA has formed. Then we have transcription, the first step of protein synthesis. And it takes place in the nucleus. I should probably fix that. OK. so. This is where the mRNA, messenger RNA, is involved. So there's three steps to transcription. There's initiation, elongation, and termination. And basically, so the enzyme, the enzyme helicase unwinds the DNA again. And RNA polymerase, this is what mRNA is made of. RNA polymerase binds to a section of the DNA called the promoter. and the DNA unzips and the mRNA starts being formed. So basically the RNA polymerase just binds to the bases on the DNA and it just keeps moving along the DNA chain and eventually it just forms that mRNA strand. So then Okay, yeah, I basically summarized it. And then once the polymerase reaches a stop codon, the RNA, the, R, the mRNA detaches from itself and heads out to the ribosomes, which is the site of translation, the second step of DNA synthesis, where the mRNA strand is decoded one codon at a time by tRNA or transfer RNA. And here's a picture of tRNA. So at the bottom, there's the anticodons, which are complementary to the base pairs on the mRNA. And at the top, that's where the amino acids are formed. So when an amino, so an amino acid, an amino acid is made when the tRNA connects to the mRNA. So an amino acid is formed and it moves to the top. So it floats to the top right here. And as the tRNA moves along the strand, it keeps getting added. The amino acid keep adding together to form a polypeptide chain, which eventually, which eventually forms a protein. So yeah, this can also be thought of a guess and check method to ensure that the base pairs are in the correct order. So when the tRNA goes to the mRNA and connects like it goes click and then it comes back. What am I saying? Anyway, yeah, I have 30 seconds left. I'm dying. Okay. I hope this helped. If it didn't help, watch the videos. Nice to meet you. I'll see you next week. Has it stopped yet? Yeah. App is so unreliable.